Hello there, everybody. You are the audience. My name is Super Sonic Blur, and welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Renegade Platinum Nuzlocke. Last time, we almost lost to Barry, and that was a scary situation. And I was like, yo, you know what? Level cap. Uh, yeah, let's 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 go to level 14. And uh, that's what we have done. So let's have a look at our Pokemon. Then the first thing to know is something I didn't know. Um. I didn't realize Monferno was uh, was at level 14, so uh, first thing we have to do is we have that. Uh, yeah, we have Monferno. That's my last Pokemon. Yeah, we uh, we uh, we have Monferno now. I didn't realize that it evolved at level 13. Uh, or level 14, excuse me. So it now has Flame Wheel and Mark Punch, which is going to be pretty useful. Um, like, especially with Iron Fist, because Iron Fist Mark Punch feels pretty good, so... That's something we can uh, we can definitely use. Um, <clears throat> uh, no, we don't want to continue that. We want to uh, we want to move Pokemon. That's why I was looking at things. But yeah, uh, we have in terms of summary, Sylvanas uh, knows Bullet Seed now. Um, I think that's about the only difference they've got. Exact same for Tawaki. Circuit's the exact same. Danzaboro is the exact same. Anzu is the exact same. Heket is the exact same. Dobrachu is level 12 because I do not want to evolve them into Vaporeon until, uh, because at level uh, 14, they're going to actually get moves that I want. So as a result, I'm leaving them below that level to make sure we could do that. We could level them to level 13, at which point they get. Um, uh, baton pass, but I don't think I'm going to need baton pass, so as a result, I'm not going to do that. Yormengand, this son of a bitch is level 14 as well. And this took a very long time uh, in that set of things. Amphitrite as well has evolved into a Maril. I've gone ahead and done that, because there wasn't really a point into not evolving them into a Maril. It just makes more sense to do that. Its attack stat is its lowest stat it has, which is Unfortunate, but yeah, we uh, we we have that. Uh, Aranyani has sleep powder and poison powder. I couldn't decide which one I wanted, so I gave it both. As you can see there, that's the stat side of things, which looks pretty good. Imugi is a thing we have. It's got metal claw, which is kind of useful, but I'm not sure how useful that's going to be in the gym because it's still just a pure fire type. Uh, Kuzumbo. As it stands as well has, uh, I think it's got Bite that's the new one, I'm not sure um, in that instance, but yeah. Dionysus has uh, Sleep Powder and Razor Leaf instead of Vine Whip, so that's pretty much that. And uh, Oasis is still kind of really strong, but at the same time, it only knows Bone Club. And Bone Club is 85 accuracy, so... Hmm. That's not great. Anyway, in terms of today's episode, we've got a couple of places we can head. We can head up Route 204, because there's the Ravaged Path, which I want to look at. And also, as well, we can look further along Route 203. So, we're going to go ahead, and who do we want to bring out? I guess it would be a smart idea if I uh, if I looked at the trainer list. So, we'll just quickly have a, a peek-see at that. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, probably we'll, uh, we'll, we'll stick pretty much with the most part. We will... Uh, we will withdraw. Hang on, I've got an idea. You're holding a Pokemon. I've got an idea. Can I just... Yeah, I can just withdraw that and make it faster. So, we'll withdraw you. We will withdraw you. That works. Um, we will withdraw Saket. Uh, because we can. We need Dan... Uh, we need Dan Zabordo in the party because that's just a thing we need. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and withdraw... I don't really want to withdraw Amphitrite. I guess that having the ground type is probably going to be smart to do. Uh, it gives us something we can go into that's safe. So we'll go ahead and look at that for our start things. And go ahead and reveal that side of things and do that. And the last thing as well is obviously I have a lot of stuff from pickup as it stands now. We have a bunch of escape ropes, which is really, really nice. We've got uh, a bunch of repels, which is really, really nice. Uh, also got a bunch of antidotes and super potions. We have eight hyper potions now, which is insane. But the best part is the two ultra balls. These are phenomenally useful. And I hope that we get more of them. As it stands right now, I have a 4% chance to get ultra balls. Which uh, isn't great, but once we get through the first gym, that will jump to a 10% chance, which is ridiculous. And yes, I did literally start in Sand Gem Town. I did 
all of the grinding here because it's lower levels and therefore not only is it safer but there's more battles so more battles means more chances for pickup to proc anyway let's go ahead and make our way up over to route 204 Okay, so that shouldn't be too bad. I have also as well quickly gone ahead and uh, given us some items. Charcoal, Mystic Water, Miracle Seed, and Oasis is going to be holding the uh, uh, Silk Scarf because Headbutt's still probably the best move they've got. So our first trainer then that we have to fight here is La Serra. Oh, a weak looking trainer. Do you want to have a go? Sure do. Let's see how this goes. Come on then. Las Sarah. Three Pokemon to start things off. A Shinx is the first one. And that has Intimidate, Tackle, Leer, Howl, and Quick Attack. So you cut down my attack, which is a little unfortunate. But we have flame, Stab Flame Wheel with a Charcoal. This should kill. This pretty much should kill. I'm almost guaranteed to kill here. Good. I did not screw up my basic caging of stuff. But yes. Good job, Taylor. Very nice. Uh, next up is a Pidgey. This Pidgey has Keen Eye, Tackle, Sound Attack, Gust, and Quick Attack. Um, we're just going to switch. I want to switch. Um, no. I should switch, though, just because I don't want to overlevel Taylor Jr. super quickly. Um, so we will go ahead and try and switch and keep some stuff. I think in this game, XP share... Um, the way that it works is that it um, it basically splits the XP rather than just being like one person, one Pokemon gets all the XP and then the other one gets it. So we may be using the XP share as a way to siphon some XP onto something else. Uh, that's something that we could look to do uh, very nicely. So yeah, we, we, we might end up doing that. Anyway, with that, the Pidgey has fainted. We gained a bunch of XP, which is very nice, which is good for us. And next up is the Nidoran. Poison Point, Scratch, Tail Whip, Poison Sting, and Fury Swipes. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just throw, um, yeah, throw Noises into it. It's pretty good because it's ground type. So yeah, Tail Whip lowers defense, but our defense is massive. Uh, so now we're going to try and, no, we're just going to hit Headbutt instead because it's got Silk Scarf. So this should do ridiculous damage. <sighs> oh, we got Poison Pointed. No, that's not great. That's really not great. Use Tail Whip again. Okay. Uh, you know what? Um, you know what, uh, Pokemon? I want to I wanna summary this. Check moves. Is it 100% accuracy? Yes, it is. Okay, that's fine. If it's 100%, then I'm fine to sit in and do it again. So we'll do it again. And that takes down the first trainer. And Doises now has just got to go and heal. But we have a bunch of antidotes, but I'm still not going to use the antidotes. I am instead going to go back to the healer because that's just better. Oh, would you look at that as well? We also have an item to go and collect from Danzaboro. Item, take, what did you give me? Give me an antidote. The fact that he gave me an antidote is hilarious. He's just there in the party like, oh shit, he's poisoned. Uh... Here, I found an antidote for you. I'm sorry, Danzaboro. That was that was very thoughtful of you. However, at the same time, I'd rather I I I want to do this this way. So who have we got then? You are yeah. Let's go ahead and Pokemon. Let's go ahead and throw uh, Sylvanas in the front for this one. Uh, have a guess what this trainer has. I'll beat you with a magic cart my dad gave me. Yes, he has a level 11 magic cart. Swift swim, splash, tackle, and flail. So I'd rather kill this thing in one. That would be preferable. So yes, good old youngster Tyler. Uh, do we want to take Bullet Seed out for a spin? Yeah, let's try Bullet Seed, see how it goes. It's fast. It's very fast. We expected this. Nothing happened with Splash. All right, how much is this going to do? Because I need to hit this more than twice. Oh yeah, it kills. It definitely kills. Good job. Could, that crit definitely made. You know what, Sylvanas? Good job. Good job, Sylvanas. Good job. You did it. You did it. But the Pokemon I got from my dad. Yeah, that's uh, <coughs> that's uh, that's not gonna that's not gonna help you there, buddy. Not much. Anyway, uh, Pokemon. Let's go ahead and throw uh, Saket into the front for this next fight. That should be pretty good for us. Uh, we've already got our encounter on here. It was the uh, it was Dionysus. So unless this is a shiny. Oh, it was a Badu. I was there like, I really hope it's a shiny. Because 
Then I get to catch it. Uh, actually, speaking about shinies, we'll go ahead and talk about the, um, the rules I'm running for shinies. Uh, and it's mostly just like shiny duplicates. Basically, if I get a shiny duplicate, I can replace the Pokemon that is the duplicate. If it's a shiny duplicate of a Pokemon that's died, I can't use it. Just, it just means that I can't be like, oh no, I just lost, uh, I just lost Dan Zaboro. Well, guess I better go shiny hunting for one. That's something I should do. But no, I, I, I don't like that. So let's go ahead and take on the next fight. And that fight is with La Samantha. I'm just going to start off here with an Udish. Which I just realized is also part poison type as well. So my plan is never mind. Uh, yeah, chlorophyll, absorb, growth, acid, and sweet scent. Uh, we can go ahead and peck though, which should be good. It's going to get into rivalry, so it's not going to do much. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Used growth. Uh, that's not great. Um, but we, it can't hit us with anything super effectively. So maybe this is a high roll? Oh dear, it's not. That's too bad. Use sweet scent. That lowers my evasion. Which is fine. Uh, we are faster than it as well. So we just peck it again. Eh! There we go. Hit it in the face hard enough. And it will surely die. Fantastic. Okay. Good chunk of XP for us there. Very nice. Bellsprout comes out next. Chlorophyll, vine with growth, acid, and wrap. Uh, as a result, I do not really want to stick in on this. Um, not at all. So we're going to go to Taylor Jr. Because uh, burn. Everything to the ground down death <coughs> So yeah, I used vine whip. It's not gonna do anything to us. It does have a high crit rate, but that's okay uh, We are gonna go ahead and flame wheel and Kill it Whee! I like to imagine that flame wheel is literally just a cartwheel Like that's the only thing like what else is it gonna be like how else do you do it unless you're like spinning your arm really really fast like that's the only other thing I could think of. But I think a flame, uh, like a cartwheel feels better. Anyway, Badu is the last Pokemon. Poison Point, Absorb, Growth, and Water Sport. Unfortunately for you, uh, I'm actually just going to switch around a bunch. Because um, I want to uh, I want to try and spread this XP without over-leveling anyone. Because we're already getting close to level 15 on some. So there's the growth. That's fine. We, uh, we're fine with that. You are just going to go ahead and uh, cover is not holding an item, so headbutt's just more because it has a chance to flinch. Punch it in the head with your head. And it's poison pointed me. Thank you. Use growth again. Get the absorb. Go on. You want to get the absorb. Danzaboro is hurt by poison. That's unfortunate. Uh, headbutt. Thank you. Very nice. Badu fainted. And that's 57 XP for the pair of us, which is fantastic. Last Samantha has been defeated. Oh, we're so strong. You're damn right we are. And uh, you know what? You know what? Because we're so far up here and because we want to get the other uh, Pokemon item. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I, uh, bag. There we go. That's the one. We'll go ahead and use one of the 28 antidotes that was given to us by Dan Zaboro. We will use it. And uh, we'll also use a potion as well. There you go. There you go, Dan Zaboro. Now you don't feel so bad for the pickup side of things. Uh, what we want to do, though, is we do want to go ahead and head into this ravaged path. Uh, I want to check on the ravaged path what we can catch. Because, um... Right, bag. Uh, I want to use repels in here. I want to use repels really quite a lot um, for this area because, 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 because. There is, there it is. Good. So we've got, first of all, we have an expert belt, which is phenomenal. That's going to come in really useful in the gym. But second of all, we have Rock Tomb, which is also potentially going to come in useful in the gym. But what we have here is something that could be even more useful. And that is the Pokemon that we have the potential to catch here. So, uh, Pokemon, we are going to go ahead and switch Sylvanas into the front um, for this one. Uh, unless we want to go... Yeah, no, I think I think we want to use uh, uh, Summary. Let's look at you then. Summary. Um, yeah, we, we should be fine on this. Because <coughs> uh, Absorb is 20 uh, is 20 base, and I don't really want to do too much to it. So there's that. Um, is there anyone else that I can use for this? I mean, technically I can use anyone if I really want, and I've got Sing for, 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 for later, but we'll stick with Sylvanas to the start, because we are going to go for a catch here, and there are only two possible options that we have for a catch. One of them 
is a Magikarp. The other is this. It's a Barboach. Fantastic. So, yes, a Barboach at level 10. So, uh, what we are going to do is it's four times weak to this, and this is Stab, so it's 30 with times four, which is a lot. So, we're not actually going to try and hit this thing. Uh, I think, actually, we're just going to... Yeah, we're just going to sit on this, and uh, we're going to throw balls, because I do not want to hit this thing. Uh, so, we'll start off with, I think, a dive ball for this. We'll start dive ball, because that looks pretty good. Barboach, you are something which I need. I need this. You have so much potential for this upcoming gym. You are phenomenal. Yes! Easy peasy. Just, you know, big him up. Big him up, and it works. Barboach has been caught. Perfect. Oh, thank goodness. Its slimy, uh, its slimy body is hard to grasp. In one region, it is said to have been bo uh, born from hardened mud, the water ground whiskers Pokemon. Do I want to give this one a nickname? I do want to give Barboach a nickname, and it is a very fitting one. Namazu. In Japanese mythology, the Namazu, or, ona, uh, or Onamazu, is a giant underground catfish who causes earthquakes. The creature lives under the islands of Japan and is guarded by the god uh, Takimika Zuchi, uh, enshrined uh, uh, Kashima, who restrains the catfish with a stone. When the Kashima god left his guard, uh, let his guard fall, Nazumu thrashed about, causing violent earthquakes. The funny thing is, is the Japanese name for the Pokemon, Wishkash and Barboach, is uh, Namanzun. So, it is quite literally the perfect name for this be uh, for this Pokemon. And that, like, there's, there's no better name that I can think of for this. So, Barboach, mwah! Absolutely phenomenal. Ravaged Path has been caught, and that is a fantastic Pokemon for the gym. I don't know if we can come up here. We can come up here onto Route 204. So, yeah, this is what it is uh, with 204. I have to double check uh, whether this does actually have uh, new encounters on it. But uh, if it does, then we can get one over this side of it. But I will double, double check, and I'll leave an annotation somewhere on the screen now if it does or doesn't. If it does, then fantastic. We'll get that later. If it doesn't, then it doesn't matter anyway. But first, we've got to go and uh, have a look at our new Pokemon. So here we are then. Namazu, let's see what you are. First thing we're going to do is move you into the correct spot, which is right there. And now, summary of you. All right, water ground. We like that. We like that. Mild nature, minus defense, plus special attack. Could be really good. Depends what you've got move pool wise. Oblivious prevents the Pokemon from becoming infatuated. Yeah, that's kind of how obliviousness works. Move pool doesn't. Let's see the move pool. Mud sport, water sport, water gun, mud bomb. Well, water gun and mud bomb are phenomenal. Water sport, mud sport can go. But actually, mud sport might be good. Mudsport might actually be good. We may use that in uh, at some point. But let's look at these IVs then. And they are a mixed bag. A mixed bag. 24 HP, 12 attack, 6 defense, 11 special attack, 18 special defense, and 2 speed. I'm kind of glad that I didn't hit this thing with Absorb because I'm pretty sure that it would have died. And I'd have been very sad. But Namazu is certainly one that we will likely be looking at for the gym because, uh, spoiler alert, everything is weak to ground and water, and this is both of them. And one of the ways they deal with water types is they give a lot of Pokemon electric type moves. So if I have Mud Sport or a ground type, it kind of, uh, kind of negates all that, which is phenomenal. But that, uh, with that done, we have the Ravaged Path looked at, so that's great for us. Now, we get to go ahead and move along over this way, past here, up here. Now, I don't know if we get berries along this route. Uh, I don't honestly remember. Um, we have a double battle here. However, one of the very nice things that we have about this is you don't really have to do the, 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 the double battles, so... We're not doing the double battles. Uh, we're just not. Like, there's no reason to do so. Plus, it's two trainers. So, if we do two fights, that's two options for, for pickup. So, it's actually just better, like, to, to not do that. So, now I have to try and remember which one of these two is which. Um, I don't remember. 
But we uh, we should be okay uh, for the most part if I just... Pokemon, who do we want in the front? Uh, I think we want... Uh, yeah, we want uh, we want this one in the front here to start this off. If this is the trainer, I think it is. If it's not, then it shouldn't matter anyway. So let's find out. I'm never apart from my Shinx. Our bond is strong. It is the right trainer. Thank God I put these around the right way. Youngster Dallas, gonna be leading off with a Shinx. Leer how quick attack and spark with intimidate for its ability. So yeah, quite good for us to have this. Cut its attack, that's fine. We're just gonna go ahead and headbutt this. Cause we have the Silk Scarf, so it shouldn't kill, but it should do okay. Okay, use Leer, that lowers our defense. Uh, given that, we are going to go ahead and switch. Uh, we can switch into anything really uh, at this point um but we will go into someone who is tanky to waki and you may be going oh my god but spark yeah it's not going to use spark because we're a ground type so we get at least one turn here yeah you see now the question is is do i kill with bubble and i don't know but with mystic water stab we should kill with bubble with four levels up this should kill <gasps> oh my god it didn't Oh my god, it didn't. Oh my god, it didn't. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. Why didn't you spark? I don't know, but... Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> that's that's fine. Sandshrew comes out. Sandvale, Sand Attack, Poison Sting, Roller, and Bulldoze. Guess what? We have Bubble. And you're super effective to this so yes goodbye <gasps> okay okay that was scary that was very scary i'm scared youngster dallas has been defeated so sad and so crushed yes you were pick up give me something no nothing from pick up but before we take on the next trainer you know what we've got to do and with our healing done, we can now take on the next of these two trainers. We'll also put Danzabori in the front just so they get some XP. I get my get up and go from my Pokemon. Here we go. Cricketot, Zubat, and Rattata as the last one. Cricketot here with youngster Michael. Runaway, Growl, Bide, Bug Bite, and String Shot. So we basically want to make sure we take this thing out quickly. No hold item, which is fine for us. So we are just going to go ahead and headbutt this. It should kill. It might not, but we'll find out. It didn't. You string shot that lowers my speed, which is a little bit annoying, but not too much of a problem for us. At least it shouldn't be. So our speed fell, but we headbutt here, and we're still faster. And we find out what comes in next. That's the real question. Hmm. What comes in next? What comes in next? Show me something that's easy for me to kill. Uh, the Zubat! In a focus with Absorb, Supersonic, Astonish, and Bite. Um, kind of a, a bit of a all over the place here. Um, that said, uh, we should probably look to, to just switch around. Let's go to Taylor Jr. Um, because we've got the strongest possible move in Flame Wheel right now. So yeah, as long as it doesn't go for Super Sonic and hit it. Well, we're just going to switch then. <clears throat> because uh, I'm not risking that hit. So the best move it could hit us with would be astonish because it wouldn't go for absorb so i don't think it really matters who we end up going to at that point um this hasn't got a uh a uh a move that we worry about so we're just gonna go into curse on this thing like we know sylvanas doesn't really hit this thing but that's fine used astonish that's fine so yeah it'll likely go for uh supersonic here which i'm gonna stay in on because i want to um I basically want to try and use this turn to make him go supersonic, and then he won't use it again to switch back into uh, Taylor Jr. is the plan. It also, as well, splits the XP a little bit more. Three shots, that's fine. Uh, used bite. It went for bite, that's really annoying. Uh, I guess uh, I guess we're sticking in on this then. There's the supersonic. There we go. Very good. We're fine with this. Farmers being confused. Even if it hits itself in its own face, it's fine, but it won't. Yeah, you won't do that, Sylvana. It's very nice. So with that, maybe he kills it. I don't know. If this hits five times and one of them gets a crit, maybe it does, but I doubt it will. But you know, maybe we could be proven wrong. No, it's not very effective. Hit three times. That's fine. 
So now we know that he won't go for that. Uh, we'll go ahead and switch back. The bite won't do much because we're part fighting type. So this should be good for us. And no supersonic because we'll be faster than it. So yeah, that works for me. Not very effective. And uh, we just go for a flame wheel here. There we go. There we go. That's what we wanted to do. And we split the XP three ways on this, which is also really, really nice. So that's fantastic. That's two down. Hopefully one more to go. Sylvanas' so level uh, is not close to leveling up, so that's fine. Okay, the Rattata. Hustle, tackle, tail whip, quick attack, and bite. Uh, what we are going to do is mark punch this thing, because iron... Because uh, Iron Fist plus Stab plus Mark Punch, we win. This might kick us over to level uh, 15, which will be a bit scary. Oh, it doesn't, which is good. Ack, my Pokemon. Yes, your Pokemon. They have all died. And still no item from, uh, from Danza. Anyway, moving further along, we do have one more trainer here, so... Uh, we just will ourselves into healing into a better spot there. And uh, we are going to go ahead and run our uh, circuit in the front. Before I challenge the Pokemon Gym Leader, I'll test my strength on you. And yes, not a bad Pokemon uh, or a uh, not a bad trainer here, Sebastian. Smart little uh, bastard has a Makuhita with thick fat, focus energy, sand attack, arm thrust, and fake out. So uh, yeah, if I was smart, I would have... Uh, put something else in the front because I know he's going for fake out turn one, but that's okay Yeah, if I was smart I would have put something else in the front to take the fake out and then switched uh, and then just switched But poison fang should do good here or relatively good and it does it does it goes for the sand attack Which is a little annoying. So we just go for a uh, double kick then we hit it, which is good. We've got the rivalry as well, which is nice. There we go. That's the first one dealt with. Very good. Very nice. Very nice. And level 15 for Circuit. A lot of XP there. A lot of XP. It wants to learn the move Horn Attack, but can't learn more than four moves. Uh, what is Horn Attack? What is Horn Attack? Horn Attack. If I was jabbed with a pointy, sharp horn to inflict damage, it's just 65. Uh, I mean, it's technically better than flying, but if it's stab flying, it goes to 70. So, oh, not stab, sorry, if it's super effective, whereas horn attack will never be super effective against anything, so. Do I want to over-focus energy? I feel like if I can get a focus energy off, getting the extra crit chance would be really nice, but at the same time, if I'm in that position, would it not just be better to hit something? No, you know what? No, 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 no. Should this Pokemon give up on learning the move? Give up on learning it. We'll give up on Horn Attack. I don't want Horn Attack. I don't think it's going to do that much. Anyway, Machop comes in next. Guts, Leer, Focus Energy, Karate Chop, and Foresight. We don't really want to hit this thing. Why didn't I? I was going to use Peck. That's what I was supposed to be doing. I yeah, we want to use Peck. We really don't want this thing to get poisoned, especially when it's doing that. So, um, let's go ahead and just peck it again and kill it. There we go. Easy. I thought poison was super effective against fighting, but no, fighting is just not very effective into poison. I always do that where it's like some things are not super effective against it that are resisted. So, yeah. I mean, you're not ready to challenge Jim. No, you have two Pokemon, kid. You have two Pokemon. That is nowhere near enough Pokemon to challenge the gym. What have we got there? We have another double battle. Oh, okay, what are we looking at here with this double battle? Okay, okay. I've got to try and now uh, hope we get this run the right way. But first, we've got to heal up. You know what? We've, we, we should be fine to just use a, use, a, use a potion. We'll use a potion. I've got a bunch of them. I just like going back because I'm like, oh, what if I need the, 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 the PP? But we don't need the PP. And it just it's just more editing work for me. So it's fine. Uh, what do I want in the front then for some of this? I mean, it doesn't really matter. We haven't really got anything going to hit it. So, I guess we go ahead and uh, fight you first. I found a trainer while looking for some Pokemon. You did indeed. Which one are you? Are you Caitlyn or are you Madeline? You are Caitlyn. Okay. Starting out with a Spiro, Keen Eye, Peck, Growl, Leer, and Pursuit. So, we can't really switch out, but Sir Ket is going to get dangerously close. And by dangerously close, I mean he's likely going to hit the level cap here. So we'll likely have to uh, put him away for a bit. But oh, what a one shot. What a one shot. 
Very nice. 111 experience for you. Very good. A Cubone next up. Rockhead, Tail Whip, Bone Club, Sing. And, uh, yeah. Rockhead ability, Tail Whip, Bone Club, Sing, and Headbutt. Uh, we are going to switch to... Do I want to switch to Tawaki or Sylvanas? That's a good question. I think we'll go with Sylvanas here. Because I know what comes in after that. Yeah, for some reason I've written down the Azumarill here. Oh, I know why I've written down the Azumarill. Ah, I know why I've done that. Yes, 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 yes. Anyway, let's Bullet Seed. Uh, yes, I, I've written down the Azumarill's gender here. Because it has charm. So... As a result, I feel like I needed to know that. Oh, we only hit twice. That's so annoying. But it missed. It missed the sing. That works for me. We'll bullet seed again. Pew, 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 pew. There we go. That takes that down fairly nicely. Mm. Very good. Very good. And so, okay, get some XP from this. We get some XP from this as well. And the last one is Azuril. Coming in here with huge power, Tail Whip, Water Sport, Bubble, and Charm. This thing cannot hit me very well, slash at all. So, hopefully this can get two shot, two tapped here. Ooh, we might need three. We're gonna need three here. Unless this crits, we need three. And we get three. Very nice job, Sylvanas. Very nice work. Okay, Sylvanas gains a bunch of XP. As we needed. Huh? You're finished so soon? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, and since our, none of our Pokemon are injured in any way whatsoever, we can go ahead and uh, stick around. We're going to go ahead and switch Sylvanas into the front here because I want them to start off this fight here. I got a nifty keen ba gym badge from the gym leader in Orberg City. You beat him with just these? Damn, that's impressive. Anyway, Madeline here. Leading out with a level 10 Psyduck with Damp, Scratch, Tail Whip, Water Gun, and Confusion. Uh, we want to go ahead and hit this Bullet Seed. We are faster, which is pretty good for us. Is it going to two-shot? Yes, it will, which is phenomenal for us. Uh, very nice. Very, very nice. There we go. Okay, that is that one dealt with. One down, one more to go. Okay, and a Sunkern comes in next. The Sunkern with Chlorophyll, Growth, Ingrain, Grass Whistle, and Mega Drain. Look at this tiny little thing. Look at a tiny, cute little thing. I'm just going to burn it alive. With Taylor Jr. Both of these two should hit level 15 off of this, which is fine. And it hit Grass Whistle. Of course you did. It's fine, though. It's fine. We'll just switch Pokemon to uh, Danzaboro here. He hasn't really had much of a chance to do anything, and that's fine. That's fine. Danzaboro will always be the first one to hit the new level, uh, to, uh, to hit the new level, by the way. Because it means that when I'm, uh, training, it works out better. Like, he starts getting the better items, so. That'll be good said, but. Yes, we get the flinch. Oh, Danzaboro. You cheeky little bastard. Good job. Very nicely done. Okay, and that's now dealt with. Sylvanas is level 15, as expected. Uh, getting okay. Getting okay. Not the worst thing. Taylor is also going to hit level 15. So, yeah, we are playing dangerously close right now to our level cap, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, I lost. You did lose. It was spectacular. I got to witness it. Danza has an item for me. Is it an Ultra Ball? Take... It's a super potion. That's still pretty good. Anyway, uh, let's uh, bag. Do I have anything that can deal with? I mean, technically, yes, full heal deals with the status problem, but it doesn't. So, <sighs> so what we will instead do is now we have Orberg City is through here, but this is also an area where we can catch an encounter, if I remember correctly, because this is... If we go through here and have a look at it, you can see, yes, this is the Orberg Gate. There's some interesting stuff that we have potentially here. So, there's, uh, I'd say we've got like a 45% chance for a good encounter here. Uh, and definitely something that I'd be okay with running. Um, I think that's, that's pretty good. Uh, Pokemon, who do I want in the front for this is the good question here. It's a good question. A bit difficult, because, uh... I suppose Danza's probably safe. 
Ooh, but there is one encounter that I don't want it to be in the front for. You know what? We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. We'll, we'll, we'll just go with Sylvanas. We'll go with Sylvanas and we'll get our encounter here. And we just run back and forward a bit. So what is it going to be? Come on, game. You can give me something. Give me, give me an encounter. Here we go. There is a 45% chance. There is a 10% chance for something amazing. And we get the Geo dude. Okay. It was, uh, it was one of the ones I was not super keen on. But a Geo dude, nonetheless. You know what? Maybe, maybe I was, uh, too hasty. Too hasty on you. <clears throat> too hasty. So let's just go ahead and look to try and bag this. Tag it and bag it. We'll just do it. No fuss, no muss. So Geo dude, what do we want? We want to think about a Geo dude. Like, you know, obviously a lot of the time people think very generic. Don't really know a, a lot about Geo dude. I mean, it's a ball with arms on it. Like, pfft, who cares about a ball with arms on it? Am I right? Is that something that we're thinking? Like, you're being very defensive over this stuff, and honestly, understandable. I'll be honest, I don't know much about the Geodude. I always thought it was kind of bad, but I want to learn. I want to learn with you. See? Look at that. Geodude just wants to be respected. And now they'll get the option to be. Fantastic. Very nice work there. So Geodude's data has been added to the Pokedex. Uh, at rest, it looks just like a rock. Carelessly stepping on it will make it swing its fist angrily. So let's go ahead and give a nickname to Geodude. Dara in Hinduism, one of the Vasus is Dara, of the physical god of the physical cosmos. They represent the earth and the element earth. Though earth, the planet, is usually represented by the goddess uh, Prithvi rather than a god. Uh, so, yeah, kind of interesting. I, I like this idea, and they have been transferred over to Olympus. I believe this guy isn't a trainer, or maybe he is a trainer. Either way, it shouldn't matter a whole lot. We'll go ahead and uh, have a look at our new Pokemon, and then we're going to end off the video there. So here we are then. ta -ra! Let's move you over to the correct spot. Place you down. Hasty nature. We know that already, which is... Uh, uh, okay, let's have a look at a summary then. So, uh, hasty nature, minus defense up speed, uh, good perseverance, like sweet food, uh, prevents this Pokemon against one hit KO attacks. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the shit version of Sturdy. I'm pretty damn sure that Sturdy is still the, um, one hit KO move. So, guillotine, um, sheer cold, things like that. Th that's what that's dealing with there. Uh, tackle, Defense Call, Mud Sport, Rock Polish. I mean, Rock Polish might be quite fun. But anyway, let's have a look at your stats then. Uh, so view that data. And let's see. It is. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a thing. 15 HP, 4 attack, 29 defense, 2 special attack, 14 special defense, and 18 speed. You kind of don't really know what you want to do, do you there? Like, you're super defensive, but at the same time, you're hasty, like... It's fine. Your hidden power for lying at 66 power, which isn't too bad. Let's have a quick look at Barbo just a second. I want to see what that is. That is a ground 68 hidden power, which is very, very useful. But yeah, uh, that's a Pokemon that we've got and will uh, likely be dealing with. So I've got two Pokemon here to bring up to level 14. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing in between episodes. Next time, I don't really know what we're doing. Maybe we take on some of the gym. Maybe we don't. Who knows? That's uh, for you guys and me, because I'm still in the past when that episode's being recorded. Uh, that's for uh, that's for next time. For now, it's time to end things off here. If you have enjoyed this episode, then do be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and to share the stuff so people know that it exists. My name has been Supersonic Blur. You know it's been a fantastic audience, and I shall see you all next time.